Hey, it's Joe here with Premium Beat. Today we're going to be looking at moving timelines between Final Cut Pro X, Adobe Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve using XML files. Let's take a look. So first up we're going to start in Final Cut Pro X. I've already created the project and we're going to see how it moves across. We've got some audio keyframes here, some audio keyframes over here, and we've got a fade at the end. We've got a speed change here, we have also got a little grade there. We're going to begin by exporting an XML file. To do this it's easy, you just go to File and then navigate to Export XML File. Then you can save it wherever you want. You want to select current version. You would only select other versions if you're using older versions of software. And also I would recommend clicking extended here. So I'm going to put from FCPX brackets after the name, just so I know exactly which XML file it is. So we're going to switch over to Adobe Premiere and we're going to create a new project and then we're going to go file, import and try and select our XML. However, as you can see, I'm not able to click it. This is because it's in a format that's not compatible with Premiere. In order to make it into a format that's compatible, we need a different piece of software. This is called X to 7. It's made by a company called Intelligent Assistance. I'll put a link to their website in the video description. Uh, it costs me about $50, which I would say is not that much considering the value it provides. So once you've downloaded and installed X to 7 or X to CC as it's called in the App Store, uh, you want to right click your XML and go down to Open with X to 7. And if like me you want all these different roles to come through then select them. And also if you want audio volumes and keyframes to come through which I expect you probably will, then select them too. When you save it, it will be named the same as your previous XML except with a X to 7 extension. When we go back to Premiere and click import, we will see that there is a new XML that we can select. If we click it, we can import our timeline. Now you can see that Premiere has imported all our footage and it has also imported the timeline and it's a sequence here. So once you've opened up the sequence, it's worth taking a look to see what has come across. Um, for example, we can see that our audio keyframes have come across, our fades have come across, even our speed change has come across. However, you can also see that the grade hasn't come across. Now let's look at moving the timeline back from Premiere Pro to Final Cut Pro X. So now we're back in Premiere, we're going to export an XML file. So if we go to File and then go to Export and select Final Cut Pro XML file. So it's easy to think that this means Final Cut Pro X XML. I've heard a lot of people being confused by that, but it's not. It's Final Cut Pro XML a XML file that would be compatible with Final Cut Pro 7. So we're still going to need a different piece of software in order to move it back to Final Cut. It's called Center X and it's also made by Intelligent Assistance and it cost me about $20, which I would say is well worth it. So if we right click our XML file that we've exported out of Premiere and select Open with Center X. A new window appears and you want to select the library that you want to open it within. A library is the same thing as a project in Premiere. When you import it, it comes with all the footage and it also creates a new event to put the footage and the project in. If we open up our project, we can see that it's all come across nicely. Next, we're going to look at moving a timeline from Final Cut Pro X to DaVinci Resolve. So luckily I have already created a XML file from Final Cut Pro X for when I was moving it to Premiere. So let's have a look. First we're going to open DaVinci Resolve. All you need to do to bring your XML file into DaVinci is to go to Import Timeline and then click here. So we've come from FCPX and luckily we don't need to do anything to the XML file in order to import it to DaVinci. We just click it and click Import. A new window will appear and you get the option to click use color information. 
This means you will keep any grades created in Final Cut that were created using the colour board, however not any that were created using curves or anything else. You also want to deselect use sizing information. This will just mean that your footage appears the same as it does in Final Cut. So if you hit OK, you can see that your timeline is there, your clips have been imported into the media pool, and you successfully moved your edit over. Now we're gonna look at moving the timeline back from DaVinci Resolve to Final Cut Pro X. So you're probably starting to get the hang of this. It's fairly similar in each software. To export an XML from DaVinci, we hit File and go down to Export XML. You then get an option of where to save it and what type of XML you'd like to create. I've had the best success when using the FCPX XML 1.3, so that's the one I'm gonna use here. So now let's head back to Final Cut. If we click File and go down to Import XML, we can then see our files. We can click the one from DaVinci Resolve and click Import. And once again, a new event is created and we have our edit. It's interesting to note that we have a duplicate here of a sound effect, but apart from that, everything has moved across well. So last up is Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. Let's move some timelines between those two. So we've already got an XML that we exported out of Premiere Pro and we converted using Center X that actually will be compatible with DaVinci Resolve. So we don't need to re-export another one. So we can navigate to import timeline through XML and select our correct XML. If we hit OK, we can then see our sequence that's been brought over from Premiere. And finally, let's move our timeline back from DaVinci Resolve to Adobe Premiere Pro. We've already got our XML that we've exported out of DaVinci Resolve that we used to import into Final Cut. However, this time we're going to have to use X to 7 in order to make it compatible with Premiere. So in the Finder window, let's navigate to our XML. We right click it, select Open with X to 7, and then we head back to Premiere and we can see our new XML which we select and import. What's great about this is we get some translation results which tells you what has come across and what hasn't. And there we are, we have our edit in Premiere from DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this tutorial helpful.